Hey guys, Kevin Stark, Realty One Group. Hey, a couple weeks ago we talked about an important subject in your should versus your must. Got some good feedback on this. I want to do a part two on this, okay? So we talked about our should. So I should do this, I should do that, I should work out, should eat better, should whatever. We got to change our mindset to I must. This must happen. And the best thing to do is to set a date for that too. I love what Tony Robbins, he tells a story where he was making $38,000 a year. He changed his should to a must moved to a million dollars in income in one year. He then started five additional companies and maintained the same million dollar income for the next three years because he still hadn't changed his must to improve the income. So then in one year, he went from one million to three million again, tripling his income in one year by changing his should to a must. When you work off an of aspect of what is a must in your life, and you can't have a big list of them, you gotta focus down on where you really wanna change, where you really wanna grow, or impact, or improve, or whatever that might be, things happen when you make that decision. You get more focused, you get more excited about where you're going, what that destination looks like, you get more creative on how to get there, and then therefore you start creating better habits. Things that you now do daily to implement that. I'll give you an example, let's just talk about health for a reason. Maybe you must, lose some weight or get healthier so you can breathe better, just whatever it might be that you gotta change your must to. Instead of maybe just walking the dog, maybe you walk the dog in the morning and then in the afternoon you do a little another walk or a workout. Maybe you start packing and planning your meals. Maybe you get a cookbook that you can simplify meals on the go to just to eat better, just to plan better, just to go, I must make this happen and I will at all costs get creative, excited, and focused and create better habits to make this happen. Same in marriage, how do we improve our marriage? You know, as far as reading or time together, whatever that might look like, what is the must in that and how do I make it happen and by what time frame? You know, as far as even improving our kids, spending time with our kids, helping them grow. What about fun, having fun? We struggle with fun now in America because we're always going, 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 next task. Right? So how do we create fun? Maybe we should schedule something. We're gonna do a family trip by this day. This is what we're working for. And this is what we're gonna start doing on the weekend. Something fun, hour, a couple hours at a time. And then even serving, giving back, being generous. I should do that. I should donate. I should volunteer. I should help out. Or I must. And what does that look like? Guys, we all have this incredible power, the incredible brain, which can do many amazing things. And I think it's so undervalued. At least it has been for me. I hope this is encouraging for you. How can you create your must? Would love to hear about it. Have a great weekend.